That's a really good question that I can't completely answer. The reason being, I see an indigenous Muslim psychology in the early stages of forming. If I, if I listen to um, what I think I've heard today, I would expect that indigenous psychology to be a very holistic, relational psychology with a spiritual dimension to it. Uh, I would expect perhaps a very important construct to be fitra. This is different from a, an, a, an indigenous Western academic scientific psychology, which tends to ignore spiritual dimension and be very individualistic, reductionistic, and, and analytical, experimental in its orientation. But because Muslim indigenous psychology is at the early stages of development, I'm not yet in a position to say what common ground there is.